Hi, welcome back. This is video 9 of my fantasy uh, creature sketchbook. Um, my elemental fantasy creature sketchbook. Um, I think at some point I'm going to stop stating which number video I'm on or which, you know, I'd stop numbering them at some point. Um, but yeah, this is another water element piece and, uh, there's no weird character, uh, or weird creature that I've come up with. It's just an octopus sitting on a girl's head. And, uh, I don't know why I felt compelled to draw this, but, um, I thought it would be a really fun piece to draw and this video is basically just the ink video. Um, the colored video will be, you know, next week or the week after um, where I'm coloring the piece in with my Copics and uh, just trying to get it all filled in. And um, with this sketchbook that I'm doing, um, all the pieces that I've completed, they are for sale, like all the prints are up for sale immediately, but um, at the end, when I finish the sketchbook, like the entire sketchbook will be up for sale. So all the originals um, and uh, <clears throat> the sketchbook is falling apart. So. You know, if somebody decides to buy the, the originals and all the pieces in there, um, just know that, yeah, I couldn't keep all the pages in the sketchbook. They started falling out after I did like two pieces. So um, the sketchbook is falling apart, um, but I will put everything in order. And um, it'll have sections, so, you know, earth, air, fire, water, and um, like I said, all the originals will be in there. Um, and I haven't really come up with a price yet for the entire sketchbook, but for the prints, I have a couple of different sizes, and I also offer, like, um, the matting um, that goes, like, inside the picture frames, and all of the pieces will be signed by hand and will be put in a plastic sleeve and um, there will be backboard to kind of support the art pieces so that they don't get like crunched um, but yeah like all all of these pieces that I'm doing will be available immediately for print so um, like if anybody wants any prints of any of these pieces just let me know and let me know which ones you like and I can get those out to you so um, another cool thing about this art piece is that uh, it's really detailed um, a lot of ink went into this art piece I ended up using uh, two no three different pens on this art piece so um, the Stadler fine liner pens and then um, my Japanese calligraphy pen um, I used that for the ink for the background so um, these pens are really good for ink work and I do a lot of inking um, and it just seems like these pens never run out of ink I have used one of these pens like for 10 different art pieces now and it's still going pretty strong so you know these are pretty good pens and um, I would really recommend them um, I'll have a description I'll have everything in the description box on the video so you know where I got them and how much they cost and um, what they are and um, you can go check those out for yourself and then another thing about this art piece is, um, I guess I would say not just this art piece, but a lot of my art pieces, I like to do a lot of splotches and freckles and spots um, on my creatures and the people that I draw. 
and <laughs> and that is like I don't know I guess you could call that like a trademark um, lots of ink and uh, lots of freckles and spots so um, I'm not even really sure uh, where I got the the inspiration to draw this. This was actually kind of a really weird piece for me. Um, it was fun to draw. It's just I'm not sure where my mind was at. Um, and so I'm kind of playing around with how I'm going to color this and what I want it to look like. I probably should not have done the entire background in black. It would have been nice to put some bubbles or some seaweed or something in there but just looking at the art piece when it's all penciled out it looked very complicated and very detailed and so I really didn't want you know too detailed a background to um, kind of distract from all of the busyness that this piece is already portraying because it's actually really really busy um, some spots I did get kind of confused as to what they were <laughs> so I think she was meant to have a, even more hair in this piece and um, I think I erased a lot of those lines out uh, sometimes when I draw guidelines um, I don't always use all of the lines that uh, I put down on a piece so if you're watching me ink stuff in and you see me kind of neglect a line or two here and there um, it was completely intentional um, sometimes I just put stuff in there and just I don't know where I was going with it and I either use it or I don't um, but uh, yeah, that's that's about it, really. Um, the next video will be the colored piece, and then um, we'll move on to another elemental creature in the series. And I think the next one I want to do is maybe another air elemental creature. So if you're interested in the videos and you want to see more, uh, like and subscribe and um, if you have any comments or suggestions requests or even commissions I'm open for commissions right now um, just let me know all of my all of my info is in the description box of all the places you can find me online and I will see you next time bye